all right what's up you guys welcome back to my channel this is k and i know i'm not consistent but i'm gonna try to be okay don't mind my nails and a little bit of construction also if you see me looking like over here it's because i'm looking at my screen i'm trying to focus on looking at the camera instead but let's get into it i want to do a truth or drink with you guys so i posted it on my instagram story <clears throat> To let you know a couple questions come through and let's see if i'm gonna drink or if i'm gonna tell the truth some of it i'm gonna make it entertaining and and drink just to drink but let's see if y'all can get me to drink before i even decide to do all that extra stuff i'd like to remind you guys to like comment and subscribe please and thank you you know I'm, I'm gonna try to be more uh consistent with this you know i haven't been having any ideas that's kind of why i stopped and because i'm not a vlogger so I'm not gonna have my phone in my face and talking to you guys and I got anxiety, you know, social anxiety. It worse. So <laughs> I'm trying to get better with it, but let's get into the video. Alright, so let's get it started. Don't mind the chomping. Puff is uh eating his food. So I'm gonna start off with the um beginner shot just to you know ease everything through. I got it from Ocean City. I'm from Maryland by the way. That's actually one of the questions that asked me. Where am I from and am I single for the first half? I'm gonna say I'm from Maryland. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Tanka. Mind you, that's two shots. Okay. <laughs> Mind you, that's two shots. A whole. Filling it up to the top is technically two shots, so you ready to get there. All right. <clears throat> I need to stop looking over there. All right, so I answered one. I'm going to answer a single one probably towards the end. Now, another person asked me how old am I? I am 24. I just turned 24 this year in March. I'm a Pisces. And honestly, I'm kind of doing a little... Um, a little get to know me a little you know story time a little bit not really but like for the past two years i've been planning like extravagant big plans for my birthday and they always fall through heavy not a little bit but heavy i i just dropped um uh, my my blah, 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 blah. i just dropped my miami video for my birthday my 24th birthday i had to pretend everything was good which I ain't like that, but I had to drop the content. Okay, and like, so I, I've been, I had to cut off a lot of people out of my life because I've been in a self-love, self-care, self-all of that journey to really know my boundaries and have boundaries with people. And without setting them, I would be accepting any and everything and I cannot afford that at my stage right now you know too positive right now so it was that with like kind of seemed like fake friends if y'all see this i that's what i felt y'all weren't real friends to me and last year i ended up spending time with a person that was supposed to spend time with me on my birthday and end up being a lot of legal actions a lot of you know and getting stuck in florida for four to five days yeah so Next question. Okay, so someone asked me, <laughs> do they have a chance with me? So, um, I was in a situation, whatever it was, I, I don't know. Um, and like before I was in that situation, I wasn't looking. You know, I'm still not looking. Um, I feel like this generation is a little bit messed up right now or I don't know, but I'm very picky um sadly and i'm trying to stay positive in that area also because a lot of people come my way but like i said i'm picky and i i'm not gonna accept bare minimum and i'm not gonna accept less than bare minimum <laughs> come on now pup is just smashing in the background i don't even know how it sounds who oh, but pup's going ham i um washed them up also but um before I get into the next question, I am going to still talk about the, um, if you have a chance with me. 
like it really depends like i do have social anxiety also like i mentioned so it kind of depends on the scenario in a sense when you see me like a lot of times nine times out of ten to really get me for real is in person and i don't go out like that <laughs> i'm a homebody at the same time i like to go out and be you know spontaneous sometimes probably trying to get up on this bed but yeah, I'm trying not to get too much into this. I kind of feel like I am, but I do want to just really touch it for all. Like, you have a chance. Not you, though. Sorry. Certain people have chances, but it's just, it's really the situation, the timing. But it, it got to be a, <laughs> it got to be like one of the moments where it's like, whoa. Like, especially like connection-wise, too. Like, for me to really be like, well, I never expected to really connect with this person like that or they make me feel comfortable or they understand my anxiety and they're a real gentleman, like it's not fake, but I don't know. Let's go to the next question. Okay, someone said, is it true that you'll date someone younger than you? I am like one of the main people that be like, I don't wanna date nobody younger than me, I'm sorry. Not even a year younger. Um, I try to kind of step out of that and try to date younger than me, but it's just, it's just the same bullshit. It's just the same thing, honestly. Um, I just, ignore my stomach. I just would rather not. I'd rather you, same age as me, or older. Like, I, it's nothing for me younger, you know? And then it's like with certain people too, like once I find out you're younger, like I'll kind of like, take over in a sense and that's not good ow it's just bad now someone someone said did you come into my dm no i didn't i don't come in nobody dms i don't pop up in nobody dms unless you pop up in mine and i rarely answer anybody so sir no i didn't <laughs> you would know you would have the screenshot wouldn't you okay so someone asked me have i been flown out before and I just might have to take this because that's my business. If I did or if I didn't, shit. But I did talk about this on my Instagram story also. Like, it's, it's scary getting flown out, honestly, because you really, even if you make your intentions very clear, you're not doing this, you're not da 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 it still can end up bad. So for anybody who is like thinking of doing it, be careful. I would recommend you not do it, but be careful. One person asked me, what is my toxic trait? At this point, like analyzing with my situationship, um, like I've learned from a lot of people, especially after my big toxic relationship with my baby father, um, I learned to be very understanding. Um, to communicate as much as possible and things like that and the this like i said this generation of guys right now really messed up a little bit i'm not gonna hold you so it makes me basically a little tick for tat so it's either i will step down to tick for tatty you do something that you know that you wouldn't want me doing so i go and do it just to be like yeah like, i can do it soon um also i think my toxic trait is not one the guy who has a lot of female friends. Like in all reality, like things happen. You know, people are gonna be cool with whoever they wanna be cool with. It's just as long as they're setting boundaries. You know, not stepping across those boundaries and really respecting you. Um, I know with that, like I don't really have a lot of trust with that. Because when I'm a female, I have a lot of guy friends also. I have some guy best friends too. And I know some of them, they, they step them lines. Yeah, I back their asses up, but like, would you do that? Like, you probably wouldn't. So it, you know, so sometimes it'd be hard trusting certain guys or guys in general. So that would be my toxic trait. Okay, I'm kind of leaning on myself. So I, I, I would say it's another one, kind of, in a sense. I would say my toxic trait is, which in all reality, it be spot on sometimes. But when I have this gut feeling, but 
I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know what, and I just automatically assume several, basically my overthinking is my type of disagree, but I'll think of several scenarios this and the third, and whatever one like really hits home, really like has me feeling like mm, this gotta be it. You know, I, I stick with it, but I don't put it out there. You know, I you know I try to get some details first. I try to see if it's if it's leaning towards that first before I just be like, oh no, you're doing this. Oh da 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 da. You know, unless I have proof, a bit of proof, then I'm running the long way with it because I was dead ass right. Like, mm. a lot of times I do be right. Like I say, like, oh, I felt her arm on you. <laughs> like dead ass, like. Especially when you have a soul tie with someone, you know when a female is around him. You know when he's another female. He's, yeah, another female. Like, you know it. Um, you know, when, I don't know. Sometimes I'd be like, girl, you're not psychic. Girl, you don't know what you're talking about. Da -da -da -da. And I'd be downplaying myself. And like I said, I end up being right every time. I'm like, damn. This superpower a little too much for me. <laughs> now I'm playing music. I uh, responded to um the questions on my instagram story also because just for more engagement you know let's take another shot just to get more things up <laughs> mm. no you need to lie Look a kick then a little bit. Okay, so also I kind of realized that with the first question with are you single, I kind of did answer it because I did say I was I was in a situation, meaning past tense. So I am single, yes. Regardless if I was still in that situation, I'm still single. Yes. So until someone posts me on a story talking about this is my girlfriend, or does a whole extravagant event talking about will you be my girlfriend? and etc 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 and doing everything they need to do then i'm not gonna be single but i'm single for now. i i've been having big goals big plans since the beginning of the year to be in a relationship next year but it's just whatever happens happens honestly and i'm not i am in a rush but i'm not okay so this person asks a really good question they ask um so do you self-sabotage yourself because of your overthinking and like honestly i feel like i don't fully like i could and i i probably have at one point but a lot of the times the reason why i'm overthinking is because of certain actions and certain actions that are repetitive and also because i'm not getting what i'm supposed to be getting like i said if it's less than bare minimum or just bare minimum i feel like you don't really mess with me like that like you're not really putting in the effort to either get to know me and go above and beyond type tightness so a lot of times when i am overthinking i do keep all of it to myself or well, almost all of it to myself i do mention it here and there when i'm like fed up but i do keep it to, to myself until like i have a reason or if i'm proving that this is what is actually happening and i was right about it you know so like in all reality like my recent uh situation always thought i thought a certain way and I always thought, like, you must be thinking of someone else because those are not my actions. You keep saying, I'm like this, I'm like this, but I'm like, I've never mentioned this. Like, name a time I've mentioned this, and the person will never mention a time that I've mentioned it. <clears throat> but I, I don't know. Like, <clears throat> I felt like everything happens for a reason, and... The only way I would really so sabotage myself is like starting arguments. But like I said when my overthinking does come out, like it would start arguments and I would like dang, but the perfect person would stay and would understand. I guess. Also, someone asked me what's my dream car. Um, I said in middle school, high school, my favorite car or dream car was a charger. Like I really like chargers back then. I don't know why. Um, then it turned into a Tesla when Tesla came out, you know, you could charge it at home and all this other stuff. I'm like, ooh, and I like the, the tablet screen. And like now recently it's been a Kia. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been liking some Kias, even though at, at one point people were stealing Kias. I'm like, I don't want no Kia because they gonna steal my car. But a Kia for me. Okay. Okay, so this is like 
two or three days later. If I don't like these videos, you're probably just gonna see clips of these videos and I'm gonna leave okay. So you guys, some somebody asked me what's the biggest secret that I kept from my parents when I was younger. And um, I didn't like a lot of my I don't know. I would talk to my mom about a lot of things. The only biggest secret that I recently just told my mom was um I ended up okay I was really 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 young ended up living with my grandmother when I was in second grade so before that I was with my mom so I ended up telling her this year recently and last year hold on ended up telling her this year and a couple years ago um that it was a time where me and this girl mind you I'm really 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 young me and this girl was in the playground and I remember seeing like a bunch of bees and my friend, she was like, don't walk over there, there's a lot of bees, da 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 boo -da bam And I walked away from it, but I think the girl, she like, she forgot that the bees were still over there and she touched the fence and the bees started stinging her and I'm trying to be a good friend and I'm trying to help her out and I'm getting stung. <laughs> So while I'm getting stung and I'm, and I'm running this, that, and the third, she's scared of me. And I'm like, but you brung the bees over here. You know, like, you brung the bees over here. So I was just so distraught on how she was treating me after that. Like, she didn't want to be next to me. She didn't want this, that, and the third. I guess she was scared. Like, oh, she just got stung like a motherfucker, you know? So when I went home, I was just so, one, I was so scared that I, I just got stung by these bees. I didn't want to get in trouble for getting stung by bees. I don't know why that was my mindset. And two, I was just so distraught on how she was treating me. I was like, Mom, she was like, what's going on? I'm like, I can't jump. I can't jump. She's like, who jumped you? She should have known when I couldn't bring up no names. She, she should have known that. But I'm like, I can't jump, I can't jump. I don't remember much after that, but I ended up telling her a couple years ago in this year, like, I didn't. I got stung by bees. And I probably had to go to the hospital. But I'm here now. <laughs> Okay, so I peeped the video and like this eyelash look a little wonky. My eyelashes probably look a little crazy anyway. It's just whatever at this point. I look a little different today. But the next question, someone asked me if I've done the... I'm going to take a shot to that one. Will, I'll see y'all in a, in a couple of minutes after this. And like I said, I'm gonna take them shots. But that is a shot moment. I'm not answering that. I'm not. Okay, someone asked me who, somebody I know asked me why when um, I'm on TikTok, TikTok Live, why I kick certain people off my live. Tell them like, no, get off my live. One is because if I know you and I find out you're on my live, you gotta go. <laughs> like I already have anxiety being on live. And I don't show my face a lot. And when I do, I'm having even more anxiety. So while I'm already having anxiety, I don't want you to give me more anxiety because you're on my life. <laughs> so that's the only reason why anybody that I know that gets on my life, let it out. I, I know y'all be pissed, but it's with everybody. These are some spicy questions. Um, someone asked me if I like... Oh, my stomach. Um, now, shot, taking a shot, taking a shot. And someone else asked me this, and I'm gonna take a shot to it because it's like, if I have a picture showing it, then that's your answer. If I don't, then I'm taking a shot because that's my business. Okay, so I believe I have answered this without a question being asked, but I am a Pisces. March 4th is my birthday. That is also, you know, the Miami um, birthday vlog that I dropped two videos down from this video. So go check that out if you guys haven't, please. Okay, so someone asked me, do I like dark skins or light skins? Now I prefer me a dark skin, but light skins come my way. <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of different people come my way. So I would say I do not have a type right now. I do not have a race type, kinda, 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 kinda. I do not have a waist, uh, race type, um, and I, I don't have a color type neither. I don't. I really don't. Y'all light skins do get on my nerves, but I don't have a type at this point. Anybody 
who I have a connection with. You got me, like a strong connection, strong feelings, just off rip. Like, I fuck with you. Okay, so, okay. So someone asked me those simple male roles. Um, basically get overshadowed. I You'll see it right here. But basically get overshadowed by like other people wanting materialistic things. To me, I feel like, I don't know this this generation this kind of year has been like oh he better buy me this he better da, 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 all that stuff you know but with me personally like you gotta show me something like i'm not asking for money i don't ask my wife for nothing i'm not asking for money i'm not this that, and third but like give more than bare minimum i don't i don't know if simple male rose really gets overshadowed simply hold on simply because i feel like a lot of guys they are in their femininity like more than us i feel like the roles have switched i feel like we are more masculine and you guys somewhat just tapped into your femininity and just want like 50 50 is fine but like y'all be wanting us to chase y'all and i'm very confused I'm very confused. At the end of the day, the woman is surprised. I, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I was gonna cuss, but like, we are the prize regardless. Like, I know there's a lot of messed up people on both both sides, both genders, but you have to be, I don't know. I don't have much to say about that anymore. Okay, so those are all the questions for now. A lot of them were repetitive, like I said in this one. Um, so if you guys want me to do a part two, because I really feel like this was kind of a Q&A than a truth or drink, but let me know. Uh, I'm really, I have to be dishing these videos out. I just actually edited the first half that you guys seen, um, before this outfit me. Um, but I need more ideas. I've, I've seen some ideas, but I'm like, mm, I don't know, but I cannot wait for this journey and me being very consistent. I'm telling you, when I drop this, I will already have another video edited and I'll drop it the next week. And most likely I'll have another video edited. So I will try to post and drop everything in one week. One week, once a week, probably on a Wednesday. Probably every Wednesday I will try to post. Okay, so now feature me, turn to the past me and here's feature me. Whew. Okay, so. I ran up and down the stairs because I almost forgot about this whole thing. But like I said, I'm going to catch up to every, all the, uh, whew, hold on. Okay, I'm going to catch up to all the shots. So I don't remember, but while I'm editing this, I'm going I'm to know how many shots I'm supposed to take. So let's start it. So one, which I'm doing half of this because like I said, the full thing is two shots. I'm not doing that. Okay. I ran out of my big bottle. Y'all see my big bottle in the next clip. Shake, 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 shake. Little mama, show me how you move it. Go ahead, put your back into it. Do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Yeah, that was my big bottle. <laughs> okay, so this will count as two shots because it's almost full. I need what is it? I, I don't want to set myself up. I already drunk a lot. I already drunk a lot. So this is two. So all together, three shots. Okay. Okay. Disgusting. All right. Let's do the last one. I believe it was four shots. If not, you'll probably see future me again. Future me. Future me. Oh, um, feature me again so I can take another shot at four or five, but right now four. We're doing four because I think it was four. <sighs> but also, I wanted to do a reminder. Subscribe, like, and comment. And I love you guys so much. Please stay tuned to the next video that will be coming up. And if you have any suggestions, please Say so in the comments. Bye. 
I ain't wearing down yet. But this is one of them. Of course, either no underwear or really thin underwear. Black ones on top of that if you are gonna wear color black ones. With